The town and village everybody loves, especially on a Sunday afternoon while the Bills is playing. Today, we're going to be going over the pros and cons of the town and village of Orchard Park. Stay tuned. We got some good, we got some bad, and we're going to talk about it all. What's going on, you guys? I hope all is well. As always, my name is Devontae Davis, the local realtor in and around the Buffalo area. And today, we're going to be going over the pros and the cons of the town of Orchard Park park now one of the greatest things about the town and village of orchard park is it is consistently every single year ranked for its school district the top battle for the last i don't even know maybe 10 12 years has always been clarence orchard park Williamsville those are really and you can kind of throw Amherst in there too I mean that's still a great school district but those are really the top three schools not only just in like Erie County or you know Buffalo New York but also in a vast part of the western new york region in itself so that attracts a lot of families to the area especially you know people are always going to pay to move their kids in the best school district and orchard park is no different in all honesty it is always ranked based on publicschoolreview.com it is always ranked in the top five percent overall for the oh, in the top five percent of schools overall for math science reading and stem work inside the school district and that was for the 2020 to 2021 school year so when everything was shut down they were still performing at the highest level possible and i also will add the campus of the ultra park high school is absolutely insane that's probably one of the best turf fields i've ever seen in my life now another thing that draws a lot of people over especially families or just people who want to feel in a safe environment is the low crime rate in my opinion don't nothing be happening in Orchard Park. Now, I say that exaggerated, but to me, don't nothing be happening out there. It is a very safe community, very safe. I mean, the police is everywhere out there. Every single time I go to Orchard Park, I see them sitting in the same exact spot. Y'all yeah, know Spot Coffee is my place, right? So I go to the, if I have appointments out there all day, I'm going to the Spot Coffee in Orchard Park. Or if I'm meeting a client, I'm going to Spot Coffee. Every single time I'm coming either around Buffalo street or close by it they sitting in the same spot waiting for you to come it changes from 40 and then once you hit inside the village it changes to 30 i promise you they be waiting there like if he go over 32 i'm giving him a ticket <laughs> but i'm just kidding i mean the orchard park police is is they they make their presence felt and to me yeah i mean you know every city every town has their crime of course but to me no 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 be having it out there it is as safe as you can get I mean, even look at this off niche.com, right? Literally, they took a poll or, you know, whoever chose to take this poll on niche.com. 67% of the time or 67 of the residents who voted for this said very safe with no real crime, crime to speak of. That's how you know. If the community is saying it, there ain't nothing going on out there. It's a very, very, very safe place to be. Buffalo is a 15 to 20 minute city. So. The people of Buffalo have this mindset of like 15 or 20 minutes is like far. When I talk to a lot of people who've moving up here, probably like yourself who's watching this video, you know, especially coming from the South, California, places like that, it take 20 minutes, 30 minutes just to go to Walmart. Now, Orchard Park, compared to the distance to the downtown Buffalo area, is only about 25 to 20 minutes. People in Buffalo, to people in Buffalo, that is far. Like that, yo, why are you going way out there? It's crazy to think about. Like, it's like 20 minutes is nothing for a drive. Either way, that was a little tangent. Orchard Park to me is like that country suburban style living. You don't even really have sidewalks <laughs> out of Orchard Park. And you have a lot of rolling hills, especially as you're moving and grooving through the different neighborhoods. And we'll talk about that a little bit later on, but the proximity to Buffalo is only about 20 to 25 minutes when you're talking about going downtown. So you can still get back inside the city very quickly. You know, you, you can still enjoy that night out downtown and still come back home, you know, safely. Or if you're in the 
Buffalo and you want to take that trip out to Orchard Park, look at me. I'm saying it too. Take that trip out too. If you want to go out to Buffalo, I mean, go out to uh, Orchard Park for a Bills game or something, it's only a 25 to 20 minute drive. Take the 400 out. Don't take the 90. That's probably why it's taking you so long because you're trying to take the 90, which is a highway in Buffalo after a Bills game. Take the 400, take all the back streets and you'll be there in no time. Another one of the greatest parts, and we'll wrap up kind of like the pros here quick and then get into the, the bad stuff. I know y'all really waiting for that, but we're going to keep going. Stick around a little, oh, one more minute, we're going to get to the bad. Um, but outdoor activities. A lot of people love it for the outdoor activities, the hiking, the biking, the golf. There's a lot of golf courses out there and a couple country clubs too as well. But most importantly, that really kind of hones in this kind of hike, bike kind of scenario is Chestnut Ridge, especially the Eternal Flame. If you guys are into hiking, biking, that walker, that nature, that kind of, you know, you really want to just be outside going for a nice brick walk, wow, brisk walk <laughs> through the woods, go to Chestnut Ridge Park. They have something called, or we have something called the Eternal Flame. It is truly amazing to see how a rock has a gas, a natural gas seepage that burns a flame all day, every day, 365, no matter rain, wind, hail, snow, it's always burning. And to make it even more amazing how God created this thing is that there's a false, literally water running in front of the eternal flame. Like it's amazing to see like how this thing really burns eternally. Like it's, it's amazing. If you, if you are really into nature and you, or you just want to go for a peaceful walk and really see this, I highly recommend you guys take that route. And then lastly, the, the quality of life in Orchard Park is really a great one. That's one thing I can wholeheartedly say. The quality of life when it comes to the school district overall, I mean, the things that's going on uh, inside of Orchard Park, the greenery, the space, the amount of land you can get, um, especially when it comes to the home, if you can afford a home out there, and we'll get into real estate in one second. The quality of life has always been very, very well inside of Orchard Park. It really feels like you're in the South. You're just up North. Like, you know, in the South, you see a lot of greenery, a lot of space, everything kind of spread out. You have space between your neighbors. You're not this close together to your neighbors. I mean, you can go to the grocery store, you can walk. I mean, you have hills and mountains and again, a lot of landscape, picturesque lakes and all that good stuff. You have that inside of Orchard Park. Really, once you start to drive around, dip in, in and out of the neighborhoods, you really, really have that. Now, let's get into some bad. One of the things that you'll really notice once you get out there is really two main things that kind of deters people kind of from going out there all the way. The one lack of the public transportation in Orchard Park is, is not good at all. Again, this is a very affluent area. People know this to be a very affluent area. You're going to drive Buffalo in general. Honestly, most people are driving Buffalo like there is. If you if you have a car, you're driving in and around the Buffalo area. You may be only going two minutes away, but you're going to take that trip inside a car. For people who can't afford it, Orchard Park may or may not be a place for you because you won't be able to get around. In all my years, is in the last five or so years, I've been doing real estate, flowing out there, selling houses in Orchard Park. Literally, I've probably seen maybe, maybe one or two metros and i'm not exaggerating I, I mean even on mile strip road when you're going by red robins and a movie theater and all that and quaker town crossing is basically what it's called I've, I've rarely, I mean, rarely seen a metro out there. So lack of public transportation, getting out to Orchard Park or just inside the village slash town, you, you really not going to be using. The second thing that kind of deters people a little bit from what I hear, just reviews and things like that. And just what I've seen personally is the lack of diversity in Orchard Park. Literally, if you look at the demographics, if we pull up this graph right here, 95% of people are white in Orchard Park. The other 5% is spread across all the other races, black, Asian, Mexican, you name it. That's the other 5%. Even in a school district, if you look at the school diversity, it's even less than that. So that does kind of deter people a little bit because some people, especially nowadays, want more of a diverse crowd. We talked about like kind of like that Orchard Park bubble in a couple other videos. That's where people really get that 
people in Orchard Park live in a bubble type of thing. <laughs> a, you don't have to leave. Like, you know what I'm saying? You have everything inside the town that you could really ever ask for. You want to go golf? It's right behind you. Chestnut Ridge, go skiing or something like that? Right behind you. You can literally easily find a grocery store or Wegmans four or five minutes away. Like, when people talk about the bubble of Orchard Park, I don't know if you ever heard that or not, but that's a real thing out there. Hopefully it gets a lot better, like especially, you know, with the Bills players moving in and just other people wanting a different type of life. It's getting a little bit better, but it's nowhere near close to the diverse of it that it should be. So that's something that you want to think about. Um, if that doesn't bother you, then hey, I mean, Orchard Park is still a great place. Now, moving on to it, nightlife in Orchard Park. Let's talk about it. It's not one. I've never heard a somebody say, yeah, we going out to Orchard Park tonight to have a good time. Never, never have I heard it. I heard people say, yeah, we going out to the golf course or we gonna spend a day in Orchard Park to go to Chestnut Ridge or something like that. But you're talking about, yeah, we like Orchard Park tonight is where it's at. Never. Orchard Park don't have a nightlife. You have your couple local bars, you know, you have your your, your local bars or that, that neighborhood bar that you may go to or a brewery. They have a couple uh, that's coming up. But other than that, nightlife in Orchard Park is it, it's not where it's at, to be honest with you. Like, I, again, I'm not going out to Orchard Park to say, yeah, we let's just go have a good time out there tonight. Never going right inside the city. I'll go to East Aurora before. Well, East Aurora is pretty fun to be honest with you, but I'll go to East Aurora and take an extra 10 minutes down south and, and go have fun out there before I just go party in the or Orchard Park. So at least from my perspective, unless it's on Sunday between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. after a Bills game on in Lot H, other than that, ain't nobody partying out there. You may have the couple bars, but again, that's on Sundays and that's only eight weeks, 10 weeks out the year so that's one thing you should talk about think about remember orchard park is known for its affluence it's because you know saying conservatism like they they it's golf like you know saying you're buying you you may be buying your second or third house out there you want that three thousand four thousand square foot house or two thousand square foot house that's really where you're going now speaking of taxes now we just roll it now can yes you get a great quality of life but you will pay for it you will pay for it especially when it comes to taxes and housing and i'll break this thing down for you when it comes to housing right as of what is this it's April now, but in the March numbers of 2023, right, the median sale price in all Erie County, all of Erie County was $225,000, right? Not bad, right? Not, not too bad. In Orchard Park alone, the median sale price was $365,000. What is that? 140 grand difference in a 20 minute <laughs> in one specific town. It's 140 grand difference. And that's you gotta think that's coming off of winter. That's not peak housing buying season. Last June, let's take last June number, right? 2022, June 2022, middle of summer. Well, beginning middle of summer. The at the median sale price last June was four hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars. For the average, it was five hundred and twenty thousand dollars. So in Buffalo alone or Erie County alone last year, over the entire year, it was $260,000. That's a huge, that's almost a 300 grand difference. What is that? And 260, 245 grand difference total. Like Orchard Park, yes, beautiful areas, woods, scenery, low crime, great schools. Yes, it has it all, everything you could dream of. With the big backyard, you're gonna get a huge house if you can afford it, but you will pay for it. On those houses, those taxes, please, you're looking at about nine to about eight grand, maybe even more, depending on what street, cul-de-sac, or subdivision that you may be in. And for some more quick math for you, the houses that sold last year between three hundred and five hundred thousand dollars and $500,000, the average tax was $8,586 a year. Yeah. So, Again, you can get a really, 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 really nice house. <laughs> but the taxes, and again, we live in New York, is going to weigh those pockets down. The crazy part is that's not even that's the town. That's not even inside the village. Your village tax can go up even higher. So 
again you're gonna pay for that quality of life i can tell you that and the last thing that really kind of holds and, I, and again this is all perspective based guys i'm just giving you a nice little list this is all perspective based right the last thing y'all remember the six seven eight feet of snow that buffalo had this past winter and guess where that was orchard park yes i would not lie to you when the buffalo bills had to play two games in detroit or it was either chicago or detroit one of them two when they had to pay those play those two oh you see the sun coming in oh my gosh it's almost summertime guys i'm loving it either way you remember them last couple of games that uh the bills had to play in detroit or chicago that was because they couldn't get out their driveway <laughs> remember orchard park is in the southern tier or the south towns as we like to call it they get probably 20 to 30 inches more of snow every single year when it comes to orchard park and living inside that town so that is something that you guys want to think about when you weigh your options now remember snow melts don't trip but during that time, <laughs> it doesn't seem too pleasant when you have to move six feet of snow on top of your front lawn or your side lawn, especially being out there for hours, hours trying to snow blow something. Either way it goes. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys don't already know, my name is Devontae Davis, the local realtor in and around the Buffalo area. So if you guys are thinking of moving up to Orchard Park or you're already in Buffalo looking to move around, possibly to Orchard Park, Amherst, Williamsville, it doesn't matter. Make sure you guys hit me up with a call, email, or text, and I will always always respond to you as soon as I see it and maybe an hour and maybe two my bad if I see it a little late but I just know I will get back to you ASAP we'll jump on a, jump on a phone call a map out a plan for you guys when it comes to your next house selling the one you have or buying that first one all right so remember hit me over to call email text as always I will see you guys inside the next one